Oh, there's a little guy. I think a little guy's sticking his head out. See him? Oh, God. I got him. <laughs> That's hilarious. He was right under the hole. <laughs> hey, this is Luke and have a fun triple tail report to share with you. It, it actually covers a strategy on catching triple tail that I never really considered. Um, and I, I had the opportunity to fish with Captain Jeff Vickers. He, he caught over 500 triple tail last year, pretty much all inshore and that blew my mind. So uh, we finally, I've been chatting with him, keep in touch with him and we, we had a chance to fish uh, recently and we had a short window, we were both free. So we went up there, I fished with him. It was an absolute blast. The weather was really bad as you'll see, but the strategy that he implemented that I've never really considered is, is actually targeting moored sailboats. Um, just because, you know, triple tail, they, they're roamers. They will uh, generally go and, and roam around until they find some sort of structure or shade. And so sailboats, it makes total sense now, but I never considered it. And so we were targeting, you know, we were basically fishing some sailboats. The, the wind was just cranking. We couldn't do much else. And, uh, and it was a blast. We caught some, some fun triple tail. So here's some footage, and then I'll talk at the end about what we were using. All right, so this is the setup. We would get upwind of the sailboats and just basically drift, drift across and just cast the lures oh, yeah, near the, yeah. the anchor line as well as at the hole. So this one, uh, Captain Jeff got from the anchor line. And then here, as we look back over, you can see some right oh, under the hole. Like a, there's a bunch of them with it. Yep. Yeah, that cast is a little bit too close. That The triple tail, the bigger one, actually went down and followed it, but it just wouldn't take. I think I just might have cast a little bit too close. Totally bummed about that one. However, as we just kept drifting, I, the final cast, I just went up the boat and it went across because a lot of times this triple tail will just go go down and just go straight to the bottom. And uh, so I was just slowly jigging the, the, the lure and there it just hooked up. Yep. Nice. Another one. bigger all right so we released that triple tail and then uh, went up to the next boat and you just have to love sight fishing especially if it's close quarters sight fishing oh, there's a little guy i think a little guy sticking his head out see him oh god i got him <laughs> that's hilarious he was right under the hole Shady just fell off. He's got a little remora on him. That's cool. Yeah. Let's see if we can get that remora back on him. All right, hold on there, buddy. There you are. <laughs> that was cool. All right, well, hope you enjoyed that video. There's actually one more that we caught in the GoPro malfunction, so I unfortunately didn't get that footage. But again, it was a blast. The triple tail are just a cool fish. Um, and, and although we didn't catch any giants that day, we saw some. And just to have caught any uh, in some bad weather was, uh, was a treat in itself. So as far as the lures we were using, so jigs, little small jigs were getting the best action. And uh, he was obviously talking to him. He uses a lot of you know, jig heads with, with paddle tails, uh, jig heads with shrimp tails. Uh, really just any type of jig seems to get the job done. This day in particular, I think we caught three on a paddle tail and then one on a shrimp tail, if I remember right. But either way, they both caught fish. It was really about just finding the triple tail and, and presenting a jig to them. Anyhow, I just wanted to share that video with you because that was just a unique strategy that I never really considered for triple tail. Um, obviously, if you do it, make sure that you're not uh, going right up to boats with where, where people are in them. Um, you know, Jeff goes out there a lot and he knows the ones that are just, they're literally just moored, they're always there and there's rarely anybody on there. So just be considerate to the owners of the boats never bang your lures up against them. And, uh, and in many cases, as long as the water is at least moderately clear, if they're there, you're gonna see them. You'll see them underneath the, the, the actual boat themselves. So anyhow, I just wanted to share that tip. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Special thanks to Captain Jeff for hosting me out there. It was a ton of fun. He fishes out of Dunedin, Florida, which is just north of Tampa Bay. To learn more, go to captainjeffvickers.com. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the online fishing club that'll help you catch more inshore slams than ever before while saving money on all the tackle you need. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon. There's something about the water that'll give you peace All by yourself or with your family Live Salt Strong and wet along